Welcome to the Blue Nose and today we're doing a Football Manager 2016 experiment. So if you can't read, you might be wondering what we'll be doing in today's video in Football Manager 2016. What we'll be doing in Football Manager 2016 is we will be simulating to the end of the 2021 season. So right now we're in the 15-16 season. As you can see, we've got teams that have since been relegated like Sunderland, Swansea, and a few other teams as well. As you can see, Leicester have not yet won the league. They're, they're right here. Also, I must say, I'm sorry that I do not have logo packs. I know it may blind some people looking at this for a logo, but I tried to use the Football Manager 2021 logos for this, but it didn't really work. So the Tottenham's logo is glitched out, so I'm just not going to bother using it. So I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to deal with these icons. But enough about that, is that what we're going to do is we're going to look at the leagues in England and Scotland. We also have a look at the Champions League, Europa League, the World Cups to happen as well, and, and the Euros as well. They happen at the end of this season, so we can check that out as well. Maybe even Euro 2020. Obviously, it's not happened in 2020, it's happening in 2021. But the game doesn't know that. So in just a few seconds, you will see me jump from 2015 to 2021, where it might be a few hours for me. So now I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, so now I'm back and I'm in the year 2021 now. And as you can see, this is how the Premier League is looking like. We have a look at some of the past winners. It was Tottenham that won the 15-16. Then we had Man United winning two titles in a row. Then it was Arsenal and Chelsea and Arsenal won the 2021. So I don't really see any new teams. Fulham and Middlesbrough are the only two teams that were not in the Premier League at the start of this uh, experiment. The only teams I don't see are Watford and Sunderland. I think those are the teams that are no longer with us. If we look at stages here, we'll look at last season's Premier League quickly. It was won by Arsenal by two points. Man City just behind them in second and relegated to the championship most recently was Cardiff, Sheffield Wednesday and QPR. And the season before that, it was 1819, wasn't it? Oh, wait, I went back a bit too far. It was Chelsea that won this one. Relegated were Norwich, Derby and Brentford. And 1819 was won by Arsenal. Relegated was Fulham, Burnley and Leeds. The winners of this division was Man United. And relegated was Aston Villa, Southampton and Cardiff. There we go, 16-17, Man United were the winners of that. And relegated were Derby, Norwich and Brighton. We go all the way back. This was when it was won by Tottenham and relegated from this season was Watford, Stoke and Sunderland. There's not really been any shocks at all really. To look at some of the managers, like the manager of Man City is Pochettino, Man United, we not check, Luis Enrique, the manager of Middlesbrough, this guy, it's Silvio Proto, the manager of Newcastle is Robin Nielsen, oh my god. The manager of Norwich is Paul Lambert, who's returned. The manager of Southampton is this guy called Steve Round. Oh, Connor Goldson's their captain. The manager of Stoke is Paolo De Canio. The manager of Swansea is Frank De Boer. The manager of Tottenham, Laurent Blanc. The manager of West Brom, Gareth Southgate. The manager of West Ham. Is Ronald Coleman, the manager of Arsenal, is Ancelotti. Aston Villa's manager is Alan Pardew. Bournemouth's manager is Wayne Rooney. Chelsea's manager is Allegri. Crystal Palace's manager, Rudy Garcia, the manager of Everton, is Valverde. The manager of Fulham, Nigel Pearson, the manager of Leicester, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Manager of Liverpool's Marcelino. So now we're going to look at some of the championship. So these were teams promoted and Brighton, Portsmouth and Chesterfield were relegated last season. And Cardiff, Sheffield, Wednesday, Aston Villa and relegated was Barnsley, Preston and Colchester. Derby, Brentford and Southampton were promoted this season. Blackburn, Wolves, Bolton were relegated. Burnley, Norwich, Fulham were promoted. Bristol, South and MK Dons. Stoke, Leeds, Cardiff and Relegate were Red and Ipswich, Coventry and Relegate this season were MK Dons, Bristol City and Preston QPR, Derby and Brighton were promoted 
So a quick look at the League One. We'll just look at the last season, see some of the teams in here. And this season was Bolton Ipswich, Charlton that were promoted. Rochdale, Cambridge, Plymouth and Burton were relegated. So now we at League Two now. Oxford, Port Vale, AFC Melbourne and Wickham were promoted. But relegated were Bury and Barrow. So the game did predict Barrow getting into the Football League this season. I want to look at the FA Cup. I wanted to look at the teams that have won that. So the winners of the FA Cup were Man City, Tottenham twice in a row, Arsenal twice in a row and Chelsea. The Capital One Cup was won by Chelsea in this season and Arsenal and Arsenal again, Man United, Chelsea and Tottenham. Going to Shield, Arsenal, Man City, Tottenham twice in a row, Man City and Chelsea. The Johnson's Paint Trophy was won by Blackpool, MK Dons, Doncaster, Wickham and Plymouth twice in a row. The FA Trophy was won by Four Screen Bristol Rovers, Cheltenham, Grimsby twice in a row and FC United. We're now going to look at the Scottish Premiership and I've already seen as I've searched in that Hearts are the current holders of this division. It's a really interesting one. But Rangers are back in this division along with Queen of the South. It's an interesting one. We'll have a quick look at this. See it was Hearts. Rangers just been two points behind so Celtic have fell off a bit. Dundee also in Europe. Hibs and Ross couldn't get relegated. It was Celtic that won it this season. Rangers finishing fourth. It was Kelly that were relegated. So in this season, it was Celtic that won it by 20 points. And St. Mirren were relegated. And Hearts won this league title by 2 points. Rangers finishing 4th. Hibs also relegated. Dundee finishing runners-up. Rangers finishing outside the top 6. Here it was Celtic that won the league. Look down to the Championship. Just want to have a quick look at that. Queen of South Comarnock getting promotion. Air Dumbarton relegated. League won the season before. Albion Rovers won promotion along with Cowden Beef. Forfer and Queen's Park were relegated. As for League 2, Clydenstrand Rar were any teams able to get relegated? No teams get relegated at all. As for the Scottish Cup winners, Celtic winning it four times in a row, but Dundee and Park of Thistle started winning it as well. Scottish League Cup. St Johnston, Dundee, Partick, Celtic twice in a row, St Johnston, so, so they did correctly predict St Johnston winning the 2021 or Scottish League Cup. Now we're going to look at the European Champions Cup and Arsenal won it in 15-16, Juventus won it twice in a row here, Real Madrid as well, Barcelona have just swapped it around over the past few years. That's for the Euro Cup, won by Bayern, Chelsea, Bayern and PSG, then Gelsen, Kirchen. I don't know who this is meant to be again. I think this is meant to be Schalke, so they won the Europa League. But how did the World Cup go? It was won by Argentina, and Peru were the runners up. As for the Euros, it was won by Spain this year against England, and Euro 2020 was won by France against England, so England getting to two finals in a row, bolting them both. I want to look at some of their, their top players here. Jack Butland is still in the England national team. And quite a few of these players did end up coming full England internationals. So this definitely was an interesting experiment to do to see how everything's ended up. Like according to Football Manager 2016, I think it's fair to say they have got quite a few things wrong. They also have got a few things right. Don't know what else there is for me to check out really. But anyway, that is the end of today's video. If there's anything else you want to see, just let me know and I'll show you. But thanks for watching anyway. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe as I am trying to get to 15 subscribers. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to do it. But maybe with your help, one day I can reach the milestone that I've been trying to get for years now. I guess this is goodbye.